Good afternoon, dear brothers and sisters. How are you? This is the voice of Professor Peter Wuteva Kutai, United States of America. I welcome you back to this platform titled uh, Mokot Language Tutor. Uh, today, we will be talking about a, uh, uh, an aspect of grammar in my mother tongue that, uh, uh, that I take very seriously because many people don't know how to use it correctly. And what is that aspect? That aspect is called demonstrative adjectives. First of all, we will need to begin with the first things first. What is an adjective? If somebody asks you what is an adjective, what are you going to say? An adjective is a word that modifies or qualifies a noun or a, a place or even an, an idea. For example, a good thing, a bad thing, a bad idea, a naughty person, an intelligent person. Those are all adjectives. Now, when it comes to demonstrative adjectives, dear friends, uh, demonstrative adjectives actually indicate it's a special adject adjective, which we also call determiner in, uh, in grammar. It's a, a special determiner that speakers use to identify, uh, to identify uh, a, a relationship, you know, between persons, between things, and sometimes between spaces, okay? So that's the uh, basic and simplistic definition of a demonstrative adjective in English, okay? Uh, now, the ex examples of demonstrative adjectives in English include, uh, there are, there's just four of them, okay? This, that, these, and those. As you can see, I'm going to explain what they are in English, and I'll go to my mother tongue because they're pretty similar. Okay, in the in, in the English language, the word this, the demonstrative adjective this, tells the hearer, to whoever you're talking to, that the object or whatever you're referencing is close to you, is very close to you, it's not far from you, okay? Excuse me. So this tells whoever is listening to you that the, re the object you're referencing is close to you. If I said this, this cup, for example, I'm telling you this cup because the cup is close to me. Let's suppose that this cup was far from me, maybe 10... 20 meters away from me, I would say that cop, okay? That cop over there. So that's, again, creating distance between the speaker and the and the object reference, okay? And it, so you have this singular, and that is also singular, but it shows distance from the speaker. Now, if you look at the plural of these two that I've given you, these two demonstrative adjectives in uh, in English, this, if you're referring to one thing, if I said this cup here is white, for example, if uh, if there were many, let's say I had two or three or four, I would say these cups here, these cups here are white. As you can see, this is singular and these is plural, okay? Now, so we talk about distance, pro close proximity to the speaker. Now, Supposing uh, we the cop was distant from me, like maybe 20 meters away, I would say that cop over there is white. And if they were close to me and there were many, like four, I would say I would say though no, I'm sorry. <laughs> if if they were they were far from me, but there were many, I would say those cops there are white. I'm gonna say this because I think there was some confusion there. If this one cop was say 20 meters away from me. I would say that cup over there is white, okay? And if if, it, if there were, say, four of them distant from me, the speaker, I would say those cups over there are white, okay? So I hope I've set the ground for this, the topic, this topic uh, of today. Now, in my mother tongue, we have, uh, my mother tongue is called Ngimekoka. We have similar, um, uh, similar uh, demonstrative adjective. And I'm gonna talk about them in a split second, okay? In my mother tongue, the word yung, okay, yung is, it, it, it translates the English this, this. Or yung yu, we can also say that in, in, uh, in, in, uh, in my mother tongue, yung yu, yung, so, for example, I can say yondu, 
Ndu is cop. They were, like this one. I just showed you this one when I was doing the example in English. Ndu is the cop. Okay. So if I held this cup in my hand, I was saying, Yondu. I am saying this cup, one cup. Okay. If I don't want to say Yondu, I can say Nduo. Nduo. That tells the speaker, the hearer, the distance, the close proximity that the cup has to the speaker. So I can say Yondu, which means this cup. And I can also say, if I don't want to use the word yondu, I can say nduo. That's another way of saying this cup. Okay. I hope this is this is sinking, dear, dear friends. Okay, because this language is, is quite an interesting language. Now, the other, the opposite of, of yong, which is this, is yin. Okay, yin. If I said yin du, which means that cup over there, maybe the cup is 20 meters away from me, I said. Yin do so yin is that okay? Yin translates that one, that that cup over there. That so yin by itself means that okay. And if I didn't want to say yin, I can say yin yu, yin yu for emphasis. Maybe you send somebody to go and bring a cup, you know, they, they maybe there are three or four white cups there. Uh, but you wanted a specific one, maybe because of the lid, or maybe the lid of that one is more fancy for. Or they, you know, it's more sally, and you say, uh, 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 which means no, no. When a yin you, which means bring that one, that particular one over the yin you. So when you say somebody says yin, it's a generic statement, yin that one, okay. But when somebody says yin you, the you is putting emphasis on the particular one, especially if there there are a couple of them there, okay. I hope that makes sense, good friends. So this is the this and the that in my mother tongue, okay. We saw the this. Which is yong or yong yo means proximity to the speaker, um, and you can and, and you can use that for things or human beings and uh, buildings, whatever. It doesn't matter what the gender or the, the the nature of the of the ref of the object reference. It, it doesn't. It, what matters is the distance. Okay, demonstrative adjectives. I want to underscore this: create distance between the speaker and the reference, the object reference. Okay, so we are we over and done with the this and that. Now we go to the plural. Okay, uh, the plural uh, for 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 these the plural is bomb. If you if you my somebody from my village say say bomb, he's saying he's saying these again. Proximity to you to the speaker. If I had say five cups, okay, five of these white cups, and I was saying bomb, bomb. I'm saying these ones here, these cups here. Now, if we imagine a scenario where these cups are distant from me, okay, they say maybe 30 meters or even five meters away, I will say bimb, bimb, which means those ones there, those, okay? So bomb is these ones and bimb is those ones. So just like we had, why yong and yin creating distance between the speaker and the object reference is the same thing we can say bomb and bimb, which is these ones and those ones. So yong, this one, and yin, that one. Bomb, these ones, and bimb, the, those ones. Okay? So I hope this makes sense, dear, dear friends. Uh, this is a language that I love so much because that's the language that my mother spoke to me when I when I got birth, when I saw the light of day. So let's go on with many. I hope I've given you in a just simple, I call these ones simplistic examples um, uh, to, uh, you know, of uh, demonstrative adjectives in my mother tongue, a beautiful language spoken in the uh, northwest uh, region of the, the Republic of Cameroon. Um, now uh, I want to underscore the the uh, the variant of uh, bon, bimbo and bomba. Okay, you can simply say yon. Okay, uh, you can say uh, well, 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 uh, bomba and bimbo. Bomba is close, many, and bimbo is uh, is uh, is is far from you. Okay. Now I want to give you a few more examples uh, to drive home the point. Uh, so that you can know and probably copy uh, the many ways of using these uh, demonstrative adjectives to, in order to be able to spice your discourse so that you can 
you can pass around for somebody who comes from my village. Okay. So the first example is um Vayon 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 no no. This means this child of yours is a fool. Okay. Vayon no no. Va yon, as you can see, yon again comes in. Va yon, va is child, and then yon is this, no is is, and no is full. So if somebody says va yon, no, no, he is telling you this child of yours or this kid of yours is a fool. Well, not a very polite thing to say to a father or to a mother, okay? And if somebody says again in the mother tongue, uh, yon va, <laughs> yon va, no la, you know what I'm saying? Your vinyl law, he's saying this particular kid here, this kid is clever. The law is clever, which is the opposite of no. You know, I earlier in the first example, I said your vinyl, no, you know, no is full, foolish or not or not clever, and la is the opposite of foolish, which is clever. Excuse me. Okay. Now, um, another example with uh, with with this, I'm trying to go systematically so I don't confuse anybody. This, if somebody says, via yon, via yon, no soku. Again, this is another, uh, this is another word, sentence that is not too polite. If this, somebody walked up to you, probably trying to discuss something that happened that she's, that he saw concerning your wife, and he says to you, Nini, I came via yon, via yon besoku, which means, sir, do you know that this wife of yours is a, is a whore, is a prostitute? Okay, again, like I said, not a very polite thing to say to a husband that is being uh, cuckolded by the by by his wife. But regardless, people like to rub it in. People like to make uh, other people feel sad when they discover you you're in misfortune. So, but in any case, this this via yon is this wife. Okay, via is your this your wife, this wife of yours. Okay, if somebody says to you via yon. No, but no, 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 so he's simply saying this wife of yours, this woman that you call your wife, is actually a, a whore, a prostitute. Okay, another one now. This is uh, with I'm done with with this. Another, uh, another example that involves the use of the demonstrative adjective that remember that that is uh, ye. Okay, so if somebody comes to you and uh, and says to you, uh, no, <clears throat> I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? is saying this house. Sorry, I'm sorry. It's not. It's not. This That's over there. That house over there. He's simply saying that house over there. Is my house. So as you hear, Njie is that house. Okay, remember we talked about this. This wife of Njie, this wife of yours is a whore. This kid of yours is foolish. Now I'm I'm creating sentences with that, which is which is yi distance. Yi. So somebody comes and says to you, Njie no yonyo, which is saying to you, that house which you see over there. A little maybe you are standing with the person a little distant from wherever you're 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 you're, dis, you're having your discourse. He says, Njie, no yo, no yo, yo. He's saying that house is mine. Okay. He can also say, Njie, that house over there, non jio. He's saying that house over there is my house. Okay. Another one, another one, dear dear friends, another example. So in my mother tongue refers to a car. Some people who don't know the, the Mokko language probably they will say matu. Matu is not really a profound uh, you know uh, word, a native word for 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 car. Mbunkiaka is the real native word for car in my mother tongue. If somebody refer, if you're talking to two folks from my village and one is referring to a car as Mbunkiaka, another one from another person from the same village says Matu, you can know who is speaking what I call profound 
in Gimcock, which is which is uh, which is deep, pure, and un, unadulterated uh, in Gimcock. The one who says Mbonkiako is certainly speaking uh, pure and corrupted in Gimcock. You know what I'm saying? And so uh, the word Mbonkiako is actually uh, refused by my people to refer to a car. Okay, so somebody comes and says. Um, Mbonkiako no yayo, yayo is yours. He's simply saying that car over there, that car over there is yours, okay? And if you wanted to say that one, uh, ref if you wanted to say the same statement referring to a car that is near near you, you're going to say Mbonkiako, Mbonkiako, this one here is no yayo, you know? So this car here is yours. So I hope I'm, I'm uh, just opposing these uh, demonstrative adjectives correctly so that you can, I mean, of course I'm doing it correctly. I mean, I mean simply in a simplified manner so you can see, uh, you can make a clear, clear distinction between this and that and, and these and those in, uh, in my mother tongue, okay? So these are uh, examples, uh, like I said, with, uh, with uh, yon and yin, which means yon means this and yin means uh, meaning, uh, meaning uh, that, okay? Now I'm going to give you a a simple uh, two uh, maybe two or three examples with the with the demonstrative adjective uh, 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 these these and those okay these and those if I said for example okay I'm simply saying these plates here but boom, boom, that's the, again the uh, uh, distance to the speaker. But boom, boom, boom is near. I'm saying when you hear the, the word b in, in my mother tongue is plurality. If you say b, you're saying many, okay? So b, boom, boom. So these plates or these pans are, are mine. But boom, boom, no yo yo. You can also say b, boom, boom, no yo yo, which means these plates or these pans are yours, okay? Now, so this is proximity, okay? If you say, for example, bubang bing, bubang bing, the those pans and or plates are yours. You say bubang bing, no yayo, bubang bing, no yayo. Again, boom is close, means these, and bing, bubang bing, is uh, is uh, you know again shows distance from the speaker. Okay, good friends. So I hope. I'm looking at my clock here, and it's getting, <laughs> getting, it's, it's getting to 18 minutes. I don't want to make this video to, to be too long because people are going to suddenly lose one interest and lose focus and lose attention because of the attention span of a human being is very, very short. Okay, so I want to uh, conclude by saying that um, the uh, the uh, the the function of the demonstrative adjective in my mother tongue is as important as you will find in any other languages. I happen to speak about eight languages, some of which are clearly international, like English, French, Spanish, and, and Hausa, and, uh, and and four other local ones. And so uh, if what are you thinking about the uh, yon and uh, you are simply using the demonstrative adjective in my mother tongue in a singular or a plural fashion to refer to to uh, to objects and to underscore the distance of these objects, the vis-a-vis uh, -vis the, the 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 speaker, the speaker in question. Okay, so these, uh, in a nutshell, good dear friends, uh, good good uh, good friends, listeners out there, fans of uh, Professor Vakunta's language tutor tutor platform. These, in a nutshell, uh, you know, are the demonstrative adjectives in my mother tongue. There are only four of them. Uh, yon, yin, yon, bomba, and bimba, which is this, that, this, and those, uh, in the English language. I hope this uh video has been uh mind boggling and uh, interesting for you, uh, to uh, begin to, uh, to learn the rudiments of my mother tongue. My mother tongue, I want to underscore the, the, the fact that it's not a language that you can learn uh negligently, you cannot learn this language. Uh, uh, with the intention of speaking as a native speaker or to uh, gain the level of a native, a native uh, speaker fluency and take it lightly. It's a very difficult language, and I must, I must underscore that. Uh, there are many other languages in the grass fields region of, of Cameroon that have the same level of complexity, but my, ours is 
particularly complex because it's first, first and foremost, it's a tonal language, which means that if you slightly mispronounce a word, you can come up with something that is completely semantically different from what you intended to say. So good friends, I want to thank you for listening to my voice today. And I want to invite you to watch this video with intent and to leave comments or, or uh, remarks at the bottom of the video. And I, when I do return, I will take a look at what you're saying. And if there are questions, I'll be, I'll be very glad to respond to your questions. Uh, like the video uh, if you like it. If you don't like it, you can dislike it. But uh, my uh, plea is that you tell me why you don't like the video, okay? I'm wishing you a blessed day uh, in the study of my mother tongue, and I hope to meet you next time. God bless you. Bye-bye.